Welcome back, everyone. I am the Depressed Dior, and this is Arkham Horror, the card game. Uh, we're doing Dunwich Legacy, and we're now doing extracurricular activity as our second uh, game. Our second scenario, rather. So we'll go down here. Uh, let me verify a few things. Okay, I, I'm making sure I did the right save or whatever. All right. Extracurricular curricular activity. Dr. Armitage is worried his colleague, Professor Warren Rice, might be in trouble, so he has asked for your help in finding his friend. He seems unreasonably nervous about his colleague's disappearance, considering Professor Rice has only been missing for a matter of hours. A uh, bunch of stuff for the encounter deck. Um, if this is our second uh, scenario, we need to remove one of the two faculty offices. Uh, we actually need to remove the the knight is still young from the game. And we'll keep the other one, which is the hour is late. Okay. Uh, besides that, uh, we are going to be starting in the Miskatonic Quad, and everything else is good to go. Um, as for our uh, agenda, we got the Quiet Halls. You have arrived at Miskatonic University campus in search of Professor Warren Rice. Classes are over, and a mysterious silence hangs in the air over the quad. So, seven doom. After hours, Professor Rice has was last seen several hours ago by one of Armitage's students in the Humanities Building. We need six clues to advance. Extracurricular activity, uh, the symbols. Skull does minus one. If you fail, discard the top three cards of your deck. Um, the Cultist is minus one, but minus three if you have ten or more cards in your discard pile. And then the um, Elder thing is minus X, and you have to discard the top two cards of your deck, and the X becomes the total printed cost of those discarded cards. Good news is, since we didn't cheat, we don't have an elder thing in our in our um, chaos bag. All right, so with all that said and done, let's go ahead and uh, shuffle. Uh, we're going to be starting in the Miskatonic Quad. Uh, Daisy does start with um, Dark Insight in hand, and we'll see how this plays. One, two, three, four, five. Not the ba the best, but not the worst. Do I want to go ahead and do Drawn to the Flame? No, not right now. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and discard the backpack. We'll just do Prepared for the Worst and, pre and Hope for the Best. Uh, one, two, three, four. Well, we have Beat Cops. All right, uh, Daisy Walker, Shuffle, one, two. Three, four, five. All right. Uh, discard this. Discard this. And then, you know what? We'll discard shortcut as well. And uh, one, two, three. Okay, not bad. We can work with that. Okay. Uh, with that, we'll go ahead straight into investigation phase. Uh, Miskatonic Quad, a too early winter has stripped the trees bare. Their dead branches whistle as a sharp cold wind cuts across the empty quad. All right, you can resign here, which is you can't find rice anywhere. You leave the campus hoping Armitage will forgive you. Surrounded by fences and gates of wrought iron, you can't help but feel as much a prisoner here as a guest. No clues. All right, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and start with Daisy. I want to spend two resources to go ahead and play Research a Librarian. Um, so I'm going to search through the entire deck for a tome. I want to take one of the Dream Diaries. But also, um, I'm also going to be able to discard this Astounding Revelation. Astounding Re Revelation is a research card. Um, cannot be played as a reaction when you search your deck. In Astounding Revelation is among the search cards. You discard it and you either get two resources or a secret. I want to get two resources back. I'll get this in my hand. Uh, second action, I'm going to go ahead and play uh, Grim Memoir. Actually, I will play Dream Diary first. Actually, I can play both. Why not both? Okay. Oh, actually... Yeah, that's fine. I'll be without a. T I'm wait. I'm not going to be able to do a tome action this round though, but that's okay. All right, so that's all of that. We'll go Diana next. 
Uh, Diana, I'll spend one uh, resource to play Prepare for the Worst, top nine. And I can grab a weapon. And I, it's a swing and a miss. No weapon. Alright, um, I'm going to go ahead and play Beat Cop then. That'll at least keep me alive, I guess. Alright, not the best start. Enemies, no enemies, upkeep. Okay. Mythos. Let's do this. Test five brain for each point you fail by. Describe the top card of your deck. All right. Well, I have one brain because I forgot to reset that. Uh, plus one, so I discard the top three. One, two, three. Did I shuffle? One second. I'm going to verify this. Top nine. I did not shuffle. Oh no, I did shuffle. Give me a moment, actually. Okay, I did verify. Um, I did shuffle, so we're good to go. One, two, three. This goes away. I have four cards on my discard now, and then draw you. Whipper Will. This is a and Hunter. Each investigator at the Whipper Will's location gets minus one of all stats. Essentially, it is. Vowed that birds are psychopomps laying, lying in wait for the souls of the dying. So this thing's annoying. Um, it does hit for one horror, but really the big thing is it just floats around and debuffs you. All right. So with that, uh, we'll go ahead and go straight into investigation phase. Let's start with... Um, I want to start with Diana. Actually, no, I'll start with Daisy. Uh, Daisy's going to move. Orn Library, three floors of weather grade granite. The library looks more like a reliquary than a place of learning. Stone gargoyles snarl down from above, from arch, above arched windows, and Latin script winds down the double doors at the top of the wide set of stone steps. All right, three shroud, two clues. You must spend one additional action to investigate the Orn Library. The Orn Library is a labyrinth of dusty bookshelves and poorly lit halls. It does have victory one. Also, at the start of her turn, I should have gotten this essence a dream. So, got that. Okay, uh, next I'm going to go ahead and will that work? It will not. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use my tome action and then an action, because I have to spend an extra one, and do uh, seven uh, seven to three. Oh, also I'll deduction it. For make it eight to three. I do pass, so I do get to draw a card. Really? God, every freaking time. All right, uh, we do get the two clues here at the very least. But oh my gosh, are you kidding me? <laughs> All right, um, I'm going to go ahead and for my last action, I'm going to evade him. Actually, Do I want to just take the punch? You know what? I will take the punch. I'm going to move uh, down to the, the Humanities Building. Uh, Professor Rice ha was last seen in the Humanities Building teaching one of his Latin classes. The murky windows of the weather-worn structure emit no light, and the night is silent around you. So I will take one damage, which I'm going to put on the research library and let him die. Okay. Uh, and then at the end of your turn, if the if you are in the Humanities Building, discard the top X cards of your deck where X is the amount of horror on you. I have zero horror, so I don't discard anything. The power is out, plunging the building's halls into heavy darkness. There is no sign of Professor Rice. But if we get all the clues here, we'll be in good shape. All right, uh, next will be Diana. I'm going to have Diana move down. What's the difficulty? Three? Okay. Um, and then I'm going to attack. Actually, I'm going to engage 
the stubborn detective, and then I'm going to attack it. I'm going to commit a vicious blow. So this is going to be uh, 5 to 3. Uh, that's minus one, I believe. Yep, minus one. So I do succeed, and I kill him. Okay. Gosh, I, I draw... Every time I get a card from Grim Grimmoor, it's always this guy. Like, it's crazy. Like, even on the mulligans where I was messing up the rules, like, every time I did did it, he's just like, he pops up. He's like, hey, what's up? All right, uh, that was all my actions. Goes to enemy phase. Whippoorwill's going to say hi. And then upkeep. Okay, deny existence. Eureka. Mythos. All right, what do we got? Thrall, uh, location with the most clues, which is here. I'll have it engage me, that's fine. Yeah, have him engage, that's fine. Um, Kind of thinking my options here, and then encounter card, pack uh, peril. You must uh, attach light of uh, f f four gomon to either the current agenda or current act. Limit one per agenda and act. Treat all damage as direct damage and all horror as direct horror. Okay, so I'll put it on this location. I'll put it on the uh, act right now. Uh, peril just means uh, you don't discuss with other uh, other other players about the decision. All right, uh, so with all that said, let's go ahead and start the investigation phase. Okay, uh, so we got a thrall here. And I'm currently uh, 3 to 2 because of the um, whippoorwill. And there's not much I can do about that. Uh, so this place is what, 3 shroud? 3 shroud. All right. I'm going to go ahead and do a tome action and investigate this location. It's going to be 6 to 3, even with the Whippoorwill penalty. I do pass. I do uh, beat it by 2. Actually, 6 to 3. Uh, actually, I did not beat it by 2. So I do pass, but I didn't get anything from it. OK, let's try it again. Actually, uh, this time I'm going to do Burning the Midnight Oil, which will get me two resources. And then I'm also going to play Eureka. So that's going to be six. It's going to be five to three. I do pass. I get to draw a card for each tome I control. So I draw two. Okay, I can work with that. And don't forget the clue. And then also Eureka lets me look at the top three and, and pick one. Um, I'll grab, God, these are, both of these are actually kind of okay. Let's, uh, where's Whipworld go? Okay, it's just General Hunter. Okay. Uh, let's grab... Let's grab the shortcut. Okay. Uh, so that could be, what, three to two against this guy? That would help. So I got two of these clues. I mean, I could also just finish everything and then progress the, pr progress the act, and that'll get rid of the, all the other nonsense. So yeah, we'll do that. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do... Oh, actually, I will spend uh, two resources to play Art Student. And that lets me get a clue from this location. And then for my last action, I am gonna go ahead and uh, do Grim Rimoire and uh, do another six to four. 
or six to three rather. Did I misread that earlier? I did, didn't I? I had minus two. I should have drawn a card. Uh, which would have been the shortcut, to be honest. I'm just going to draw a card, and I'll just fix it. Oh, did I shuffle? I did not. OK, well, then that's easy to, to fix. So what would have happened I, is I would have drawn this card, and then I would have done top three which would have been this, and then I would have grabbed Riorica. OK, so that balances out. I, I am failing at counting. Because, um, yeah, this would have been 7. Yeah, it would have went to 7, 6 because of Whippoorwill, then minus 2 brings it down to... Nope, I'm, I'm, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm literally an idiot. OK, so I was correct. So, taking a step back, I was at 5, goes down to 4 because of Whippoorwill, goes up to 6 because of Grim Rimmore. I had minus 2, which brings it down to 4, so I don't beat it by 2. But I did beat it by 2 this time, so I do draw a card. Oops, sorry, we'll shuffle first, then draw a card, which would have been the uh, Mouse Mask. Okay, I, I apologize for that. I, that was uh, kind of a mess. In fact, give me one moment. Okay, I just checked. I had not drawn. I have not even done the skill check. Okay, minus one puts it at five. Or sorry, seven, six. Yeah, puts it at five. I beat it by two. I do draw the card. Okay, everything's back to normal. I apologize so much. A lot to keep up with. Now I get the clue from here. I will advance, which will get this discarded. OK. Uh, you are unable to find Professor Rice, but one of the students you spoke with mentioned a strange man entering Rice's office. Unfortunately, the door leading to the faculty office is locked at this late hour. The student says that the head janitor Jazz might be able to uh, let you in if you can find him. Shuffle the encounter discard pile and the set-aside Jazz mulligan into the encounter deck. Time for the lucky. Try to get lucky. All right. Uh, Rice is, oh yeah, and then the it was called the head janitor. Rice's whereabouts. Concern for Professor Rice's safety. You seek out the head janitor who can let you into the locked sections of the campus. Spend one clue as an action. Describe the top five cards of the encounter deck. Top ten it, instead if there is one player in the game. Forced if you discard Jazz Mulligan as uh, for any reason, resolve his revelation effect. Uh, when you take control of Jazz Mulligan, advance. All right, so we got to get Jazz Mulligan. All right, that's it for Daisy. That was a messy turn, just like a lot of my other turns, apparently. Uh, so currently, I am three to two. Um, doesn't have any spe oh, He does have retaliate, so if I fail, he is going to counter me, which is a little annoying. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and spend an action to go ahead and do let me hand uh, an attack, and I'll use let me handle this. So this brings it up to four to two. I do pass, I do one damage. I'm going to go ahead and do it again. This time I'm going to discard a beat cup. So four to two. All right, he's dealt with. All right, and then for my last action, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just draw a card. OK, that's useful. All right, uh, enemy phase. This guy's just hanging out. Upkeep. All right. Good to go. Mythos. We're up to three out of seven. Our attach to your location as an additional cost to move into or out of the location test uh, brain four. If successful, discard Arcane Barrier. Otherwise, you must either cancel the effects of the move or discard the top five cards of your deck. Uh, I am going to go ahead and spend the two resources to negate this, and I'll put this in the basement. Okay. Uh, this will get reshuffled in, and then you get to draw. Eager for death. Test two brain. This sk increase the skill difficulty by two uh, by one for each damage on you. If you fail, take two horror. If they can catch the fleeing soul when it leaves the body. 
they instantly flutter away, chittering in demonic laughter. Oh, also, Thrall Emolevalence has take, overtaken their minds, turning them into soulless puppets. Okay, uh, so I'm currently 3 to 2. Um, I'll go ahead and use Essence of Dream to make it uh, 5 to 2. It's a pass. And, alright, we're now in investigation phase. Okay, uh... I'll have Daisy go first. She'll get her Essence of Dream back. I'm going to spend an action and a resource to get out the Mouse Mask. And then I'm going to shortcut over here. And then I'm going to spend an action to go down here. Uh, student Union, even at this late hour, you can hear the muffled chatter from, the insi from inside the Student Union. Perhaps one of the students will know where Professor Rice is. Uh, after the student union is revealed, put aside the set aside um, dormitories into play, and you can spend two actions to heal one damage and one horror. Alright, uh, the dormitories. The door leading into the dormitories is locked. You cannot move into the dormitories. The red brick form uh, of the west dormitory could be seen through the trees. Okay. Uh, I have one. I, I'm going to go ahead and do a tome action. I am currently seven to one. Uh, this is what minus two, or minus one. Yep, minus one. I do pass. I do draw a card. I do get a clue. And I am going to go ahead and investigate one more time. Uh, burning the Midnight Oil, gain two resources. I'm currently five to one. I pass. All right, so I have two attempts to try to get, uh, try to find Jazz. Oh, also I used the wrong icon. It should have been Daisy. All right, uh, Diana. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and spend a resource to go ahead and get my wolf mask out. And I'm gonna go ahead and Engage the Whippoorwill, and I'm going to go ahead and attack it. It's going to be three to two. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make it uh, five to two. Okay, Whippoorwill is dead. Um, and that was my last action. All right, goes to enemy phase. There are no enemies. Goes to upkeep. Okay, Twilight Blade. And water protection. Okay. Mythos. Draw. Lock door. Attach the location with the most clues and without a lock door attached. Uh, well, it's a tie, so I'll just put it up here. Oh, I'll like put it here. It doesn't matter. Okay. Next. Uh, hex. Choose and shuffle a non-story asset you control into your deck and discard the top three of, of the of your deck. If a copy of that asset is discarded, take two horror. Okay, um, I'll go ahead and do Grim Rimmar then, because it was already empty. One, two, three. Bad news is I am at 11 cards, which means uh, it's this uh, minus three is now a thing. All right, uh, that is it. Goes to uh, investigation phase. Uh, I am going to go ahead and spend... Well, actually, I'm going to go ahead and just take the action now. Spend a clue. Discard the top five. One. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Alright, well, I still have to discard the others. One, two, three, four. Oh, we missed a victory. Alright, uh, Jazz... Uh, revel, put Jazz Mulligan into play at your location. Um... While Jazz Mulligan is not controlled by an investigator, he gains parlay three. If you, if successful, take control of Jazz Mulligan. Uh, while you control Jazz Mulligan, you can ignore the text on each unrevealed Miskatonic location. All right. So yeah, I will go ahead and take the action. I have to take control of them to advance. So, all right. 
Uh, so five to three. Uh, actually, I will go ahead and play my St. Hubert's key. So now I'm plus one, plus one. And I'll use this to represent thingy. Seven. So minus two sanity. Luckily, it's not actual horror damage. All right. Uh, and then last, yeah. And then for my action, I am going to go ahead and jazz it up here. So I'm currently six to three. Of course. OK. So that happened. Uh, next, uh, Diana can go. Um, first action, I'm going to go ahead and play Emergency Cash, get three resources. Uh, I am also going to go ahead and go to go ahead and move. And then for my last action, I am going to go ahead and get out my Twilight Blade. All right. So yeah, this thing isn't, I mean, pretty much I'm just going to use it to replay cards I've already played on under the basement. Okay. No enemies. Upkeep. Another emergency gash. Okay. Art student. Okay. Mythos, we're up to five to seven. Test uh, five brain for each point you fail by. Um, uh, describe the top card of your deck. Uh, are these visions of things to be or things that, as they might be? Or could these horrors be have already happened? Um, I'm kind of okay with just discarding. So uh, two to five. Is that minus one? So I fail it. Uh, so I'm going to be. Uh, so I'm going to be discarding seven cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Got my weakness. Also got one of my weapons. All right. So I, it was four because it was a uh, four because of the fail check by failing by four, and then it was another three because of the skull. All right. Whipper will. He's going to hang out here. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, go straight into investigation. Sorry for all the zooming. Um, I'll have um, Diana go. She's going to move. She's going to engage, which is going to get her an offering. And I'm going to use that offering to go ahead and get plus two on this attack. So I'm currently three. I'm um, five to two. Five to two. Minus three. Through two to two, I do pass. So yeah, that was a little close, but thankfully whippoorwills are easy to kill once you actually engage them. All right, uh, then it goes to Diana, or sorry, not Diana, Daisy. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and do a parlay check. Minus three, I do pass this time. So uh, you take control of Jazz. He doesn't take an ally slot, so he can just go over here. He is two, two. Um, once you take control of Ala, uh, Jazz, you advance. You convince Jazz, uh, the experiment is loose. You convince Jazz that something strange is going on and that Professor Rice may be in danger. He doesn't trust you enough to hand you the keys, but he agrees to come with you. All of a sudden, you hear a crash coming from the science building and a student rushes towards you. Help, he cries. There's some kind of animal loose in the chem lab. I only barely caught a glimpse of it, but he shudders. I think it's heading to the dorms, but you've got to do something. If Alchemy Lab's uh, location is not in play, put it into play. And if you are at, at Agenda 1 or 2, spawn the set-aside experiment in the Alchemy Labs. If you have completed the House Always Wins, put the set-aside uh, alchemical concoction into play underneath the alchemical, uh, Alchemy Labs. If extracurricular activity is the first scenario, uh, remove the set-aside alchemical concoction from the game instead. All right, so alchemical concoction. Alchemy Lab, which goes over here. And then, and spawn the set aside experiment. All right. 
underneath the Alchemy Labs. Okay. So this thing, it can use um, intelligence instead of uh, strength to attack. And if it hits, it does like plus six damage. And if you succeed, it removes it from the game. So you can use it to blow up this thing, which has 13 health, four strength, and two agility. And when the enemy phase begins, ready the experiment. So evading it's not the best idea. It's also massive. If the experiment is defeated, you can advance to 3B, which is going to have, and this thing has uh, two, uh, two physical, two horror, and it has victory too. And then, of course, the alchemy labs here, it is technically locked. Uh, do you reveal it? Yeah, you just put it into play. Okay, but yeah, technically it's locked, even though he's bashing down the, the walls here. A uh, pungent stench rises from the laboratory downstairs. The silence of the hall is broken by the unmistakable hiss of a burner. All right. In any case, um, we got the final. Uh, campus safety. You have only moments to react. You could warn the students in the dormitories and escort them to safety, or continue your task of searching the faculty offices for Professor Rice. Or perhaps you could try to slay the beast that threatens the campus. Find and complete an objective on an encounter, another encounter card. So we can either go and save... Uh, deal with the students in the dormitories, go deal with this guy, or try to search for Rice, who's probably in the administration building. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move as my next action. I can now access this area. So, And once it's flipped over, you don't have to worry about the um, it being locked anymore. All right. It has uh, six clues, one shroud. If investigators in the dormitory spend uh, six clues as a group, you can go res uh, resolution two. Um, as you explore these old, well-kept buildings, you find yourself wondering whether the beds are comfortable. All right. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and spend. Oh, I don't even have enough resources. All right, in that case, I'm just going to do an investigation. Uh, it's going to be six to uh, one here. OK, I do pass. I do get one clue. All right, and then uh, that was it. that's everybody. Enemy phase, this guy is not Hunter. Upkeep. OK. Is this guy an elite? Yes, he is. So can't do the cheesy string of curses, and I don't have two of them anyway. The other one's in the discard. Okay, uh, go Mythos. We're up to six out of seven. Draw. Choose and shuffle a non-story asset you control into your deck, um, and then discard the top three. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, do I have a way of canceling it? Uh, yes, I do. I could do it this way. But you know what? It's not worth it. I'm going to just use the Twilight Blade. One, two, three. Yeah, not the same card, so I don't need to worry about that. Uh, Ancient Evils. I'm going to spend... This would actually advance the um, agenda. So I'm, I'm going to spend a resource and take a Horror, uh, which can be put on you, to play Ward of Protection and and uh, cancel that revelation effect. Okay. Now it goes to investigation. Let's get to work. Um, let's uh, spin an action to investigate. Fail. Oh my god. All right, next. Pass. So my goal is actually to get all the clues from here because it is worth a victory. And we need as much victory as we can get. All right. Uh, and then last action, I will go ahead and investigate again. Uh, I get to draw one card. All right. So three clues left. I would try to fight the uh, experiments, but I have no weapons. And uh, all my dodges have been discarded. So uh, not the best situation to be in. Uh, let's look at my discard. What do we have in here? Thankfully, only one weapon, but I do have uh, my emergency caches down there as well. 
All right, well, I'll spend uh, two resources to go ahead and play Backpack, top six. Well, I find a Backpack, which I can put down here. And at least I prevented myself from getting that uh, less than good card there. All right, um, I'm going to go ahead and spend two resources to play the Backpack I have, discarding that one. Top six. I get my Twilight Blade and a Wolf Mask. All right, uh, that was my second action. Third action, I'm just going to gain a resource. Actually, no, I'm not going to gain a resource. I'm going to play Emergency Cash because I'm not an idiot. There you go. Uh, that's everybody. Goes enemy phase, upkeep, prepare for the worst, promise of power. All right, uh, Mythos, it's going to advance. Something stirs. The university is dead silent. The shadows coil about your feet as you walk, and you swear there is something following you with each step you take. Is it your just? Is it just your imagination, or is it? Is there really someone or something stalking you? Each investigator with five or more cards in their discard takes one horror. Anyone that has ten or more takes two horror instead. Uh, that's both of us. So two horror. Um, I'm going to put one on Beat Cop and one on her. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and let Art Student die. And she'll take one horror. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, good to go on that front. Next, uh, if you could... Other one. If the players have completed the house always wins, advance directly to 2B. So we have. But I'll go ahead and read this anyway. Dead of the night, the professor writes this disappearance isn't the only thing amiss at the university. You're unsure what is going to, going on, but you're starting to believe Armitage was right in asking for your help. 2B. The, an experiment gone wrong. A cry of fear echoes through the campus, and several students flee from the eastern side of the university where the science building can be found. Could this commotion be linked to the professor Rice's disappearance? If the dormitory's location is not in play, put it into play. If the experiment is in play, move it one location toward the dormitories. Okay. If the experiment is uh, not in play, you spawn in the science building, which would be here. Okay. Um, the beast unleashed. Uh, some kind of wild creatures on the loose, whatever it is, it appears to be headed toward the university dormitories. When this agenda would advance by reaching its doom threshold, instead, Remove all doom in play and move the experiment one location toward the dormitories. If the experiment uh, enters the dormitories, advance. So we're pretty much racing against the clock here. Okay. So with all of that said and done, let's go ahead and uh, do counter card. Uh, Ancient Evils. There's not much I can do about that. Because I don't have the Twilight Blade anymore. And then yours, uh, Peril, choose one of the following card types, Asset, Event, or Skill. Each player must discard each card in his or her hand that is the, uh, of the chosen type. If this is not the first copy of Terror of Beyond or on this phase, choose two cards instead. So this is just to ensure you don't pick the same for both of, both of them. All right, uh, I'm going to choose Skills. So I'm going to discard Promise of Power. Oh, that's actually rough. Uh, actually, I am going to pick Events. So String of Curses. Ward of Protection. Everything else here is fine. And all of these are events. Which is too bad that Prepare for the Worst would have actually probably had a good chance of finding the card I needed. All right, uh, that's everything there. I'm going to go ahead and go with uh, Daisy first. So first action, I'm going to go ahead and do Deduction. Uh, so I'm currently 7 to 1. I pass. I get two clues here. Technically I can advance now, but I'm not going to. Uh, second action, I'm going to investigate again. I pass. That is the last clue here. So at the very least, uh, we got two victory. <laughs> Alright, I am going to go ahead and advance this. And that'll be the end. So we go to resolution 2. 
you pull each of the dormitory fire alarms and usher the students out of the building's north exit, hoping to make your way off campus. Many of the students are confused and exhausted, but you believe an attempt to explain the situation will do more harm than good. Minutes later, a terrible shri uh, screech echoes across the campus, piercing and shrill. You tell the students to wait and head back to the dormitories to investigate. Oddly, you find no trace of the strange creature, a prospect that worries you more than it relieves you. Uh, you hurry to the faculty office to find Professor Rice, but there is no sign of him anywhere. Uh, note that Professor Warren Rice has was kidnapped. Uh, in your campaign log, record that the students were rescued. Also, I shouldn't have experience, by the way. That was all spent last session. Uh, each investigator gets experience equal to victory uh, X of each card in the victory display. And then if this is the first scenario, you go to House Always Wins. Otherwise, you go to Armitage's Fate. So we get two whole experience points, which is a bit rough. All right, uh, I already know what I'm going to upgrade. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade a backpack to the better one. That's one of them taken care of. Uh, I'll need a moment to figure out what I'm going to do with the other one. So give me a second. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade one of my deductions. Yep, so I'll go ahead and discard this one. So upgraded deduction has an additional book, and it also will um, discover one additional clue at that location. Um, well, so it does that automatically, but um, it's two additional clues if you succeed by two or more, which Daisy has been pretty good at doing. So we're good, good to go on that front. Uh, we don't need Jazz Mulligan anymore. And then we'll go ahead and go to Armitage's Fate. Oh, actually, uh, I might get... S no, I'm not going to get anything from this. Uh, if investigators were unconscious for several hours, read Armitage's Fate 1. Otherwise, do Fate 2. Fate 2. Uh, when you arrive at Dr. Armitage's home in Southside, you find him sitting at his desk, pale-faced and sweating with worry. He is grateful to you for searching for his colleagues, but he doesn't look relieved. With a long pause, he strains his glasses and explains, I'm, fr I'm afraid I must apologize. There's something I didn't mention to you earlier. Dr. Armitage then spins a tale you would, would scarcely believe had it not uh, been for your harrowing experiences earlier that night. In your campaign log, record that investigators rescued Dr. Henry Armitage. Any one investigator may choose to add Dr. Henry Ar Armitage to their deck. It does not count towards the limit. Okay. And then it proceeds to uh, Miskatonic Museum, which is the next scenario. So, Dr. Henry Armitage. Uh, when you draw a non-weakness card, discard that card and exhaust Dr. Henry Armitage to gain three resources. Uh, I honestly don't. Well, he's Miskatonic, so I'll add. I'll go ahead and add it to um, Daisy's deck. Uh, he also provides two wild, so it's not too bad on that front. I'm just thinking of whether or not it's better on someone else. After you draw and discard, blah, blah, blah. It's also two resources to get out. Yeah, I'll just take him. Or, sh or Daisy will take him, rather. Oh, uh, I did mess up there. I apologize. Uh, but yeah, that's everything. So I'm going to go ahead and call it here. I'm the Depressed Dior. This was uh, Arkham Horror, the card game. Um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Dunwich Legacy, and next time we'll be doing the Miskatonic Museum. So I'll see you then.